Okay, Mr. Good, good afternoon, Mr. Yeah, Alcon. yeah. Good um, afternoon. A very warm welcome uh, to to you here to the UK, and um, we're so happy that you were able to find time to come and meet with us, Cameroon Nurses Association in UK, and. Um, I'd like you, to, I'd like to introduce our president to you, Mr. Romain Nguabo, and uh, who'll have uh, a word or two to, to discuss with you. I think I'm very grateful to be in your midst here in UK. It's really a pleasure for me. It's really a, a big pleasure, and I'm very grateful for the, your warm words of welcome. Thank you, Mr. Kwe. So my name is Romain, as uh, Ebojan mentioned, and I'm the chairperson of the Cameroon Association. Uh, we are very, very happy, and I'm particularly happy to see you today. So um, just to introduce our association to you. So okay. we are nurses, as you know, and we working hard to try to improve the health system in Cameroon okay. and also to support ourselves here. Okay. So we have uh, done so many work in Cameroon and we just uh, unfortunately that we see that you know, things are not going the way we expected. We just picked up that uh, you had the, uh, the opportunity to meet Ebojan in one of the occasions where, where they, 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 you people gave some gifts yeah, to what, the training school in Bamenda. What was it uh, exactly? Uh, what did they give? They were computers and other material, didactic material, which went a long way to enhance the training of personnel, of nursing personnel back home. So you confirmed that they were very helpful for the nurses? No, they were very, very helpful. Okay. Welcome such ideas again, such uh, things in future. Okay. The reason we wanted to meet you today uh, is that when we I took the presidency of the Cameroon Nursing Association in the UK, my aim was to uh, uh, set up that network of nurses where we were together and try to improve the health system okay. there and so that people can have the basic. You know, um, one of the things that we sent to Cameroon was uh, the electrophoresis machine okay. somewhere in, in Babenda where... And back to... Stopped. Oh, yeah. It started again. Yeah. It's, yeah. No, no, it's fine now. Yeah. So, um, and I think that they, that was um, uh, uh, so fantastic. Not to mention all of them, but we're trying to do things back home. But we want to make sure that we do it in the right channels. Okay. We want to make sure that nursing... Uh, a nursing practice in Cameroon, you know, uh, to the standard, you know, uh, because when we go there and we see hospitals, we see how things are being done there, mm -hmm. and we compare them to what is what here. Is here. Just, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you think there's any way we can work together and look at? Anyway, first of all, I like to say tell you why I came here. Mm -hmm. I came here actually to attend the the Commonwealth. Uh, Nurses and Midwives meeting and a conference that was organized from the 9th, 10th and 11th and actually it was so enriching, a conference, really enriching and uh, we came together with many, many, many people, many other nurses in Commonwealth countries, almost 30 something country, uh, nurses associations from, uh, from Commonwealth countries and I think net networking is very important just as you said. If we can network with you here, I think it will be a very good thing because we need to work hand in glove in order that nursing back home should be what it ought to be. Because when we come here, in fact, we see things in uh, things are so organized. You know, there is regulation. There, you know, you you know have you have aspects of uh, continuing professional development, but back home. We still need to review our laws in order to to, to meet up with, uh, with, the, with, the, with the with the present uh, scenario with the pr present situation in in, in west in the western world. 
Okay, that is very, very good. And uh, um, I heard you during our discussion, you were saying that you, you, you made some research in Cameroon, different area, and that you presented them to the Commonwealth. Yes, yeah. actually, I, com I, I, I presented a paper during that meeting. And, and uh, you know, the paper was actually on uh, the management, uh, disaster management, the Cameroon experience. You know that uh, in, uh, sometimes we don't even prepare ourselves for disasters. And when they come, we are moving up and down. Hospitals are not even prepared and all those things. So with that motivation, I had to make uh, present this paper, which was quite uh, enriching because, uh, you know, there we, we I, I had to say what what is the role of hospitals and what is the role of nursing personnel as far as disaster management is concerned. So, and I think it was good. So, what is the process of becoming a nurse in Cameroon? What, what do you need to be a nurse in Cameroon? You know, everything is the Ministry of Public Health and the uh, Ministry of Higher Education. Once you have passed your end of course exam, you can practice. There is nothing like, uh, you know, you know, uh, licensure before practice. You, you can practice, you know, though they say that you must be registered in the association, but many people don't get registered. You find that people get registered only when they want to go out. Then they come and register, they go out. So those who are there, they are just practicing without, uh, you know, without, some are registered, some are not registered, but they are practicing. And there is no way since the association is not uh, very autonomous, there is no way to, to, you know, to regulate their practice. Though we have general supervisors who are nurses in, near, in all our hospitals, those are the only people who can identify my, my practice and other, the other things. But uh, to say that the association has a very big role on that, we are still carrying on advocacy advocacy with the Ministry of Public Health and we think that if finally we even review the acts, the nursing acts, because the nursing acts are as far back as uh, you know uh, 1984 and at that time they were not even uh, training uh, first degree masters or whatnot. We had mainly infirmier diploma data as we fondly called it uh, the SRN and so you know so things were made based on that. But now we have many schools, many colleges, many universities uh, uh, training nurses with first degree, masters, and all why not. So we need to review that act in order that all these personnel fit into it. And more so, the aspect of uh, continuous professional development, it has to be added. Even scopes of practice, you know, a nursing assistant can practice to any, you know, yeah, there is no that scope of practice and also this aspect of um, education. Education, anybody can open a school mm -hmm. because there are many people who open schools and they say that this school is uh, under the Ministry of Vocational Training, not even under the Ministry of Public Health, not even under the Ministry of uh, Higher Education. And, I, and those are the problems that we have. And I think we really need to, to work very hard in this perspective. Mm. I mean, might it be, um, from what you're saying, there isn't a body as such that would regulate, that regulates nursing and midwifery because uh, here we have the Nursing and Midwifery Council mm -hmm. and they regulate uh, nurses and midwives, not the healthcare systems. Mm. So should we then be looking at getting the Ministry of Public Health to set such a body? I mean, I don't expect um, Cameroon uh, Nurses Association, your association, to be that body. Mm. You, you, you need to have an independent regulatory body to regularize the training, supervision, mm. and overseeing uh, profession, continuous professional mm -hmm. development of nurses and midwives. Is that something that we could be looking forward to doing? Yes, that is exactly our vision, our focus. Because, you know, unless we have a board, 
that will regulate practice. And it's only the Ministry of Public Health that can help create that board to be able to regulate practice. And, you, you know, if we don't have that, we cannot do anything. And I think that is what we are trying to work towards, you know. Uh, and uh, working towards that also means that we must, we should be able to review the laws that, you know, govern practice. Yeah. And then BBS, because when when we do mm -hmm. this, we we'll pass it through the, through the Ministry of Public Health, you know, they may, for them to send it to Parliament, you know, in order that, you know, nursing and medical practice can be regulated. And I think that's the only way, you know, when, if we don't have a board, you know, I don't think that regulation will be effective. Okay. So, yeah, I hear what you're saying, and I think that's commendable. Um, but what I would like to ask is what steps have we already taken towards that? Have we got any strategy to to follow to enable us achieve what we want? Uh, actually, you know, uh, there is this uh, NGO, ICAP, that uh, is trying to empower, I mean, it's trying to help training schools. Right. Yeah, they, uh, they organized a, comp uh, a workshop, a one-day workshop, grouping all the leaders of associations in Cameroon. And then, you know, there, they brought out the aspect of regulation, the importance and everything. So we had that workshop, and I'm sure that from that workshop, there will be a follow-up. There will be a follow-up. Who, who will follow that up? Because from, from the way we understood, there are quite a few uh, associations in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. So is there one body that is going to follow this up or is that body still going to be formed? No, the thing is that we have the association, we have the association of nurses, midwives and health technicians. You know, that is the regulatory body in Cameroon. That's the regulatory body, but it has no power. Right. Yeah, that is, it has no power. And uh, to give it power, many things have to be added onto that, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the law creating it, you know. And then, even the conferences that we hold, we are going to hold one conference. We are supposed to hold a conference last year, but it did not hold because of uh, some, the, the political situation and all or not. But we, hopefully we are going to hold that conference this year. And the conference is uh, on regulation of nursing practice in Cameroon. That conference is organized by the Cameroon Nurses Association, okay. member of the Commonwealth. That conference will hold in May. In May, May this year. May this year in okay. Boya. Okay. Yes, we are going to disseminate, you know, the information, so that in that in that conference we'll come out with proposals, you know, which we'll send to the Minister of Public Health, because that is the way we, we have to work. Okay. We we'll send to the Minister of Public Health, and then you know we we'll, we'll play. We we'll, we'll have to do advocacy even in many aspects, so that it goes through Parliament. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I hear what you say. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anything that we can do to help, because I think this is uh, um, what nurses and midwives need in Cameroon urgently, especially those private uh, uh, colleges where... Uh, Nobody knows what their curriculum are. Nobody knows what sort of training they're giving to these nurses. Mm -hmm. And as such, we cannot say that their qualification is really valid because there's nobody to do that. So is there anything that we in the UK, Cameroon Nurses Association in the UK, can do to help or to support that uh, conference? Um, I'm sure if it was probably later on uh, in the year, some people uh, from here might be able to attend, but it's only next month, so it's such a, a, a short notice. So, what do you think we can do yes. to to assist uh, assist you in? Uh, in fact, we need your technical know how, your expertise, because you know how it's functioning here. We may be, uh, you know, we may have the idea that. It, it may not necessarily be the way it functions. And so when you give your own ideas and we blend them with what we have, we may come up with something. 
so we need we need your assistance as far as information about regulation is concerned about practice and about you know about yeah practice and many other things concerning the profession okay so on this and, issue and then that... if one of you were to come down during that conference and and also be part of it i think it, it will be very helpful to us yeah, but if not next month isn't it if yeah. not you know next year yeah. we, we 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 are supposed to organize conferences every year okay though the themes differ but we can always put in that 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 aspect of regulation until we achieve our goal yeah i think that should be our priority in fact you could just dedicate half of the conference to that because once we have a regulatory body and uh, the nurses and midwives are well regulated then we're halfway there yes. so we'll leave this topic now uh, and move on yes. and please do get in touch uh, with our president uh, our email address and if there's any information that you need uh, or any expertise as you put it we're quite happy uh, uh, to do that and I don't know whether there's any member of uh, our association here who is going to come run in May and if they are we will obviously let them know about uh, the, the conference that you'll be uh, putting on and then they may be able to attend but if it's next year definitely I'm sure somebody will be able to attend it's just this one it's very short notice yes yeah. but however you know uh, the world is, you know, very small in the sense that, you know, there's internet and everything. So we think that whatever thing, your contributions will, re will be welcome, whether by which uh, means of okay. communication. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that Cameroon Nurses uh, Association in the UK does is we, we support projects back home okay. and uh, uh, as Romain said earlier uh, last year we um, we contributed uh, a sizable amount to buy an electrophoresis machine for the nursing sisters in Batibo and as far as uh, I'm aware they were going to use it for hospitals in Batibo and eventually take it out as well to okay. other neighboring uh, uh, hospitals okay. so how do you think we can help is there any project in Cameroon that you think Cameroon Nurses Association in UK can support in fact there are many many aspects where uh, Cameroon Nurses UK can support uh, one of the aspects too is uh, Equipment, as you rightly said, you know, some technical equipment. You may be very surprised that uh, you may have some equipment here that a nurse has never seen. And if 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 uh, this equipment is even given to training schools, because you know pre-service training is very important, uh -huh, it will be helpful. Or you know things that can help nurses work better. In their respective places, no matter how small it is, I think it's very important. You know, uh, things like uh, sphingomanometers, you know, and many other things that the nurses can use to work. And also, you know, in Cameroon, many nurses are trained, but not. All of them are absorbed by government and private institutions. So many of them are just hanging. You find some doing, uh, you know, uh, jobs that are not even related to nursing. And so it's very, very sad sometimes. So if you can, if there can be a way whereby, you know, we even know how to guide them on how to look for opportunities after their training, I think it will be very helpful. There is, uh, there is a great shortage of nurses uh, in this country and I know that um, with us being the European Union, uh, they are bound to, to take nurses from Europe rather than elsewhere. But um, we're soon leaving the European Union and um, being in the Commonwealth uh, uh, 
being part of the Commonwealth countries, I wonder if there's any way that they could push to have nurses from the Commonwealth into Britain. Because I know they go to the Philippines and uh, recently there have been quite a lot of nurses from Spain who um, a lot of them struggle with the language. Mm -hmm. Our people are trained in English. Mm -hmm. So is there any way that the Commonwealth Institute can or is there anything that they can do to recruit nurses from Cameroon? Mm, I think it's, 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 not, it's not easy. It's not. The only thing is that uh, the Royal College of uh, Nurses, you know, the the and the, and the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nursing and Midwifery Council here, they have openings whereby nurses can, if if if, if they meet the criteria, they can be able to. Uh -huh. Even back home, they could register. If they meet the criteria, they could be. So does it go back to regulation as well? Because it goes back to regulation. <laughs> so everything yes. goes back to yes. regulation. It goes back to regulation. And, uh, yes, mm. yeah. Because there are there, there is a great shortage mm. of, of nurses here, mm. and the forecast is that it's not going to get better. Mm. Um, but as I said, once we exit the European Union. Uh, they will be able to uh, take nurses from other Commonwealth countries and Cameroon trained their nurses in English and French. And so French. we stand a better a chance, uh, chance mm -hmm. than nurses yes. coming from Spain uh, and other European countries. That's very true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hear that you are having a, a gala. Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, there's quite a lot of information that you've given there. We are having a gala on the 12th of May um, 2018. Normally, every year we, we, we organize a gala and we try to raise funds to, you heard how we and support also being there, so, mm -hmm. how some you support, the, yeah. yeah. So all that money, we are self-funded. So far, we haven't got any uh, organization that fund that money into CNA. Okay. So um, the aim of the gala is to get money and then to to support our project. Come. So um, I'm I'm going to first say that uh, you you have your free ticket that day to to come to our gala and then um, and to inform all other nurses, all our Commonwealth nurses that we met today, exactly. to tell them that the gala is. Um, uh, is coming on the 12th of May. So, is that something you think? I think uh, it's something worthwhile and I will try my best to really attend and I will also try to, to to give the information to other nurses, you know, even in UK and, and back home. Some may want to come. Yes, so, and it's a good thing for us to be together. And I'm glad that that is where you raise funds to help us back at home. And uh, I think I wish all of I wish you people the best. And Thank I you. hope that it will be very successful. I'm very sure that it will be very, very successful. Yeah, for those who are home who want to come, they're also uh, free to contact us, like okay. uh, invitation letter. Okay. We can do that for them to, yeah, to be able to get, to a get visa. their visa to mm. come. If okay. they say they come here for the gala, mm. that can be a, a reason where they, 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 they can get easy, uh, have their way into the uh, gala. Okay. And when you were discussing with Evo, um, talking about networking, mm. it, was, it has been a very, very difficult problem. To help CNA UK to progress in his uh, MR objectives, mm -hmm. that um, in the sense that um, when we send email to you guys mm -hmm. and there's never a response, okay. what explanation? Do no, you the problem that? has been the network problem back home, mm -hmm. but um, uh, but now I think uh, things are to an extent we have internet mm -hmm. services, so that was the main problem, you know. Mm -hmm. One cannot ha have a message and will not uh, reply now. So, so you guarantee now that your website is working? Yes. You, if you, you can receive mails now and 
Yes, and, and, and reply. Yeah, as far as CNA is concerned, yeah. our website is fully working. You can post information. And after our uh, um, entertainment, I mean, our discussion today, that will go live on our website as well. Okay. So people can access and, and see. Uh, Okay. Yeah, and propose other idea because okay. uh, we don't have enough time because you you are traveling on Saturday. Yes. So we just have to catch this opportunity and see whatever you can do. Okay. But before you can go, I have something to give you. Okay. And it is um, the CNA UK t-shirt. Okay. Is, um, yeah. In fact, that is for you. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's very nice. Yeah. I think so, I'm so happy. Yeah. And Mr. President, I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, we want people to be physically fit, so okay. that's why we have this one. So you can be running, okay. yeah, and, you know. Yes, and exactly during yeah. our conference, there was one topic that we should be able to take care of ourselves. Yes, that's yeah. the... Yes, because we don't take care of ourselves. Yeah. We take care of others, but, but we not ourselves. Take care yeah, of yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And there, there was that recommendation that try to make at least work at least you know it depends on individuals mm -hmm. but i said i must work at least 20 minutes every day good even if you have a car and where the chair the chair the chair i'll use it i'll use it, <laughs> I'll use it yes. so mm -hmm. as as plans stand now first we agree to be working together yeah, yeah send yeah. us information okay. and we want also to have copy of the report that you gave to the commonwealth okay. so we can uh, upload that in our website. So you're doing fantastic work there, and it just got it just gone unnoticed. No, I think mm -hmm. with this meeting, in fact, the networking will be will be, will be wonderful. Yeah, because excellent, excellent. Yeah, mm -hmm. because we'll be using both mm -hmm. both aspects, all aspects mm -hmm. of communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the phone, mm -hmm. the email, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the fa Facebook, mm -hmm. or, or, I mean, in fact, social media, all yeah. aspects. Yeah, plus the website. Yeah. I think it's good and I'm so happy and very happy for the reception that you people have given us here yeah. or given me here. Okay. I'm so grateful. Thank you very, very much for coming. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.